Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Picture being able to leave behind the usual and enter worlds where things that shouldn't happen become real. If you enjoy advanced tech, amazing space fights, or puzzling time loops, the sci-fi shows of 2023 have all of it, and guess what? You don't need a spaceship or a wormhole to experience these fantastical worlds. Thanks to the magic of streaming, you can immerse yourself in these captivating narratives right from the comfort of your own couch. In today's video, we're jumping right into the awesome realm of the top new sci-fi TV shows releases of 2023. Open your eyes. Starting off our list at number 10 is Kazatsi Motor, Generation Fire. Kazatsi Moto, Generation Fire is an animated series that's packed with excitement. It features 10 stories that take us into the future, and these stories draw their inspiration from Africa's rich history and diverse cultures. The show is the result of the creative efforts of talented African artists who have come together to bring these stories to life. In the series, you'll find tales that explore advanced technology, encounters with aliens from other worlds, and even delve into the realm of spirituality. Each story is like a window into a different world, offering a fresh and unique perspective that we might not have seen before. What makes this series even more impressive is that it serves as a showcase of the incredible potential of African creators in the field of animation. These artists have brought their distinct styles and ideas to the table, resulting in a collection of stories that are both engaging and thought-provoking. Kazatsi Moto, Generation Fire is not just about entertainment, it's a testament to the talent and creativity that can be found within the African animation community. It's a sign that the world is taking notice of the artistic contributions from this region, and it's an exciting step towards a future where African storytelling continues to shine on a global stage. Taking the ninth spot is Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal, the classic PlayStation game series, is now a live-action comedy series from Peacock. Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick of Deadpool and Zombieland developed the series, this post-apocalyptic adventure starring Anthony Mackie as John Doe, an outsider tasked with crossing the divided states of America to deliver a package that could change his life for the better. Overall, it seems that Twisted Metal is a show that is best enjoyed for its entertainment value rather than its depth or quality. If you're in the mood for a fun and irreverent post-apocalyptic adventure, then this show might be worth checking out. However, if you're looking for something more substantial, you may want to look elsewhere. Sneaking into the eighth position is Silo. Silo is a TV series adaptation of Hugh Howey's novels, set in a future where survivors live in an underground structure due to a devastated world. Human history is erased, and inhabitants are unaware of the past. The story follows characters like Sheriff Holston, his wife Allison, and mechanic Juliet as they navigate personal struggles and investigate mysteries within the silo. The series blends character-driven narratives with larger enigmas effectively, and the production design brings the underground world to life. Over 10 episodes, the mysteries gradually unfold, keeping viewers engaged and redefining the storyline's perception. Coming in at number 7 is Secret Invasion. Secret Invasion stars Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury in a Marvel series about Skrull aliens infiltrating Earth. Despite an interesting premise, the show lacks tension due to quick scroll reveals and generic plot turns. Strong performances by Don Cheadle, Ben Mendelsohn, and Olivia Colman are hindered by underdeveloped characters. The series offers insights into refugee issues but falters in execution. Visually, it lacks the dynamic shots expected from Marvel. Overall, the show struggles to fulfill its potential, resulting in a narrative that falls short of excitement. At the sixth spot, we have Mrs. Davis. Mrs. Davis on Peacock ends on a high note, despite a chaotic start. The action comedy series features a nun named Simone battling against an AI named Mrs. Davis. The show is filled with wild concepts, from stage magicians to a quest for the Holy Grail. 
Betty Gilpin's performance as Simone anchors the show, with her tough and sarcastic character bringing balance to the whimsical narrative. The chemistry between Gilpin and Jake McDormand, playing Simone's love interest, adds both sexual tension and humor. Developed by Tara Hernandez and Damon Lindelof, the series manages to blend high concepts with comic timing effectively. While the central conflict is portrayed as faith versus technology, the show's approach to these themes remains light and comedic. Despite the chaotic storytelling, Mrs. Davis ultimately delivers a satisfying and enjoyable conclusion. Taking the fifth position is Ahsoka. The upcoming Disney Plus series Ahsoka is a groundbreaking milestone for the Star Wars character Ahsoka Tano. Having appeared in three distinct categories within the franchise, Ahsoka's journey from Anakin Skywalker's Padawan to a central figure in Star Wars Rebels and her live-action debut in The Mandalorian is unparalleled. Ahsoka's new series offers her the spotlight as the lead character, marking the first time a female character has commanded her own Star Wars TV show. The show's potential to explore other female characters and non-human cultures, along with Ahsoka's transition from animation to live action, has significant implications for expanding the Star Wars universe and setting the stage for future projects. Breaking into the top four is Foundation Season 2. Foundation Season 2 continues its big story, spanning many years and places. The show has different plots happening at once in space. Two main characters, Gaul and Salver, are important. They're separate from others, which makes the show feel different. The show asks questions about believing in things and science. The story also explores how people guide society. The Empire's part of the story is strong, with clones dealing with power and change. The show's big scale is nice, and the Empire's story is relatable. Securing the fourth spot is from Season 2. The show, from returns for its second season with a strong lead performance by Harold Perrineau. The show's story is intriguing, even though it sometimes has weaker parts. The show explores different characters and their struggles in a mysterious town. The show balances its intriguing premise with moments of emotion and mystery, making it worth watching, despite its flaws. Almost at the pinnacle of our list is Vortex. Netflix's French sci-fi series Vortex explores the consequences of changing the past through time travel. The story follows Ludo, a police investigator whose wife dies under mysterious circumstances. When a similar crime occurs in the future, Ludo discovers he can communicate with his wife's past self. They work together to solve the case, but altering the past could have unintended effects. The series delves into themes of sacrifice, love, and the pursuit of a perfect life. While not groundbreaking, Vortex effectively combines crime drama and sci-fi elements with an engaging storyline and satisfactory conclusion. The show balances its limited budget with well-executed visuals and character development. Overall, Vortex offers an intriguing and worthwhile watch for those interested in a blend of crime and science fiction. And finally, occupying the throne at number one is One Piece. Adapted from Ichiro Oda's best-selling manga series, One Piece is an epic high-seas adventure. The story follows Monkey D. Luffy, a young adventurer seeking freedom. Luffy embarks on a dangerous journey from his village to find the legendary treasure, One Piece, with the goal of becoming the king of the pirates. To achieve his dream, Luffy must gather a crew, secure a ship, navigate treacherous waters, outsmart rivals, and stay ahead of the marines. This is far from the first time One Piece has been adapted for the screen. A hit anime series inspired by Oda's works has been airing in Japan on Fuji Television since 1999 and in the United States on Cartoon Network since 2004. The excitement for One Piece is humongous, and I personally can't wait to watch it. That concludes the list guys, thank you for making it this far, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our previous recommendations, and stay tuned for more exciting content.
Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and let us know in the comments which of these shows you're most excited to watch. Until next time, keep benching!